Hey guys, Patton here. So I was asked to do a tutorial on the USB flash drive, how to run the uh, cores from the flash drive rather than from the SNES Classic. So that's just one more reason that you should be using the USB flash drive on your SNES Classic if you haven't yet. You can put the cores on the flash drive as well, which saves room on the system itself for whatever reason you want to do that. So let's get into that. But a quick disclaimer, if you choose to do this, there's no backing out. Once you get those mods on your flash drive, the only way to get them out is to pretty much uninstall and start from scratch. So this is a commitment, which really shouldn't matter if you're using the flash drive and you put the cores on there, they're going to take, I don't know, maybe at the most I can think of offhand is maybe 300 to 400 megabytes on your drive, which is like nothing. But like I said, if you choose to do this, there's no way to get them off one by one they should remain on your flash drive until you're ready to reflash for whatever reason so as long as you know that going into this let's get started all right so this is actually going to be really simple to do um you have to download kmfd manix latest uh core set um and it's going to have the dan the man h mod that we need to get this to work so props to dan the man for getting this this is actually a really cool mod so we're going to open up the folder for the uh, 1 2018 core set. Um, he's actually got this hidden pretty good in here. So let's go to his KM Extras folder at the top, USB host, and HMONS. And this is what we're looking for right here DTM external RetroArch 11118 HMON. So just so you guys know, we're going to copy this. Um, all this is doing is transferring the cores or the HMONs that are currently on your SNES Classic to the flash drive. So we copied that uh, specific HMOD. Let's go back to it one more time. KM Extras, USB Host, HMODs, and it's this one right here, DTM External RetroArch. And the date on the one I have is 111.18. So we copied that. Now we're going to open up our flash drive. We have the HackG folder games and saves folder we're going to add a third folder which is really neat how you can add uh, new cores to your SNES classic so new folder it's going to be named transfer all lowercase make sure it is all lowercase or this won't work all these folders in your USB drive should be lowercase or they won't work so transfer we're going to put it in the transfer folder and now once we plug in our USB stick to our SNES Classic, it's going to transfer that new Dan the Man H mod to our system, and then it's going to transfer all the cores that are on our system to our flash drive. It's super simple, and you'll see the splash screen um, flash a couple times. The first time because it's running that H mod, and the second time when it's starting to transfer everything over. So I'll try and record that so you can see the couple splash screens, and you just got to be patient with it because sometimes it can take a while. So let's go to the SNES Classic and hopefully that will be captured on camera for us. Had a lot of oh there we go so I had a lot of fun yeah getting this to work because um actually had to learn how to do this tutorial first um, and when I did it I tried to like add more and then take them out and everything I ended up uh, messing everything up on my <laughs> on my SNES classic I had to reflash everything start from scratch which was fine it's it's really not easy or not hard to do. All right, so if we go into our core system, now you won't be able to tell from this screen that everything has been transferred. I just want to show you how many um, cores we have. Uh, so let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 
8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. We have 19. This is new. I don't know what that is. We're not going to worry about it. But we have 19 cores, and that we have to remember that number because we're going to go back to the PC. I'm going to show you something. So head back to the PC. See you there in a second or two. Okay, so here we are back at the PC. Now, this is how you're going to know whether this worked or not. We have our USB flash drive back up here. Um, we have the HackG folder like before, but now, as you see, we have a new folder here, the Librito folder. If we go in there, there's a bunch of stuff here you don't want to touch. Don't touch anything in this folder. Don't delete it, add anything to it, because you will mess up your system and you will have to reflash. So, um, let's go to this info folder. Look at that. So this is a list of the cores that have been transferred over to our flash drive. These aren't the cores themselves, it's just files. So I found out this was a good way to show whether or not the core was transferred. As you can see down here we have 19 items and we had 19 cores that we needed transferred. So that worked. Um, so how to add more cores the easy way. If you go back here, just like what we did with that core before, um, you would make a transfer folder in here. So we can do that real quick. And as you notice, that transfer folder disappears once the core is installed. And then you would just put the core in here. So if we go back to our, let's see here. How about MAME? We didn't put MAME 2014 on there because it was such a big file. So let's copy that and paste. Okay, so MAME 2014 HMOD, we back out. If we were to plug this back into the SNES Classic, which we're going to do, um, that should transfer over. So let's do this again. We'll go back. We'll see how this transferred and we'll see where it's at. If it created a folder there on the flash drive or if it just stayed on the SNES Classic. Let's take a look at that. We'll do it together as a team. My teammates. My peeps. Patents peeps. Ah, oh, that's funny. Okay, anyway, let's go to the SNES Classic. If the core appears on our list first. Okay, here's our little RetroArch uh, Clover app. Load core. Is MAME on here? I don't see it. Oh, yeah, yeah I do. Arcade MAME. Duh. So it's on here. So let's check and see if it's on our flash drive. Let's take a look and see what's on our flash drive if that MAME 2014 core got moved over. Let's go over to our Librito folder. And once again, Transfers is gone. Librito. Here we go. Info. Oh, we have 20 items. There it is. So it's actually a one-step process now to put the games directly onto the flash drive. So if you have anything on your SNES Classic and you run that Dan Demand H mod, it'll transfer those. Any other ones you want to add to it, you can just directly put it in that transfer folder and it puts it right on the flash drive. It won't add anything to the SNES Classic at all. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, that's it. Um, and like I said before, uh, you are to commit to this. If you don't, you can uh, kind of mess everything up in your NAND with your SNES Classic and you'll be forced to reflash. You won't break the system, but you'll just have to start all the way over again and that's, that's no fun. You know, that takes a little bit of time. But yeah, so there you go. That is how you transfer your HMODs from your SNES Classic to your flash drive and how to add new cores to your flash drive directly using this method. So I hope this was helpful for everybody. Um, the USB mode is always recommended all the way if you can do it. Just get yourself that OTG cable, get yourself a nice flash drive, and you'll be ready to go. It, it, it makes things so much simpler, gives you so much more space. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you on the next video. So if you guys want to get in touch with me outside of the YouTube comments, you can follow my Twitter, at Patton Place. Or if you have any questions, uh, you can email me at my Gmail account, patentplaysgames at gmail.com. Thanks again for watching the video, and I'll see you guys next time.